Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the New York Giants and the Dallas Cowboys. I'll see you again with scores and updates at halftime. But for now, it's my distinct pleasure to hand things over to our broadcast team. It's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Gentlemen. All right, thanks, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction of the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with Eli Manning and the New York Giants. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. They'll be brought out by a man who hails from Sulphur, Louisiana, played his college ball at Mississippi State, the quarterback Dak Prescott. The numbers he put up as a rookie, outstanding. But were they really, truly sustainable? Remember, they were 13-3 and three as rookie season. They ended up going 9-7 in 2017. How about they went from four interceptions in 2016 as a rookie to 13 his second year? These are numbers that you didn't expect to stay the same, but I do expect Dak Prescott to continue to get better and better as a quarterback in the NFL. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. For one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's brought down. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Prescott now. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking to get it to Allen Hearns that time. And that'll bring up second down. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw is Prescott. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And the ball is knocked out. And who's got it? The Giants! The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Here's the giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten. Hey, 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 hey. 
Now the rookie first rounder from Penn State, Saquon Barkley. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. at one. Manning over the middle to back him. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Throwing is Manning, and that is incomplete. third down is a key down in any game you play and third down defense something we've got to watch in this one got to be effective on the passing downs that's a pretty good first step right there Riley Dixon now to punt it away and he didn't quite have the back spin on that one it hits at the four and continues into the end zone it's a touchback and out now come the Cowboys. And they got across the 50 last time, but fumbled and turned it over, so they'll be looking to have a short-term memory here, Mr. Davis. Not only a short-term memory, but a whole lot better ball security. <laughs> because if they take care of the ball, continue to move it, their chances of scoring some points, they've got to feel pretty good about. They thought they had things moving in the right direction last time. Fumbles, they don't just affect you on offense. They affect your overall team, because now your defense has to make that stand up. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Second down, Elliott. And an alley to run. And he gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Now Prescott to the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. A first down carry by Elliott. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A look now at the starters defensively for the New York Giants. Let's start with Eli Apple out of Ohio State. And when you get picked number 10 in the draft, big things are expected out of you. I would dare say that they do expect that, but they also understand that they believe that his best football is ahead of him. Plenty of room for growth. A tremendous athlete. Oh 
Second down, Prescott. On the left side, he finds Beasley. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Despite the blitz, they're still able to cook up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Shotgun, it's Prescott. He's got a man, it's Williams. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. Nice chunk of yardage picked up there. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Off the play fake, Prescott. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Offense. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd is supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. After the penalty, it's Elliott. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. He'll get two yards back, but it's going to leave him with a long third and 13. Well, they had that one snipped out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Third and long for Prescott. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Kareem Martin coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. That is a sight, a sack, the Giant fans hoping to see more of this year. Well, we know they put a big emphasis on it in the offseason, and it paid off in a big way early. 
early in this game, getting to the quarterback. The Giants know they have to get their pass rush pumped up. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Back deep, it's Odell Becker. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. And the Giants ready to come out now. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Second down, here's Manning. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun now for Manning. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Their first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. Here's Austin. <laughs> Give him 11 yards that time on the return. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And things haven't started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, okay, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big time play and break through the barrier. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And they'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. If you're the coaching staff upstairs, you might want to file that play away. Did you see how fast the safety closed on that one? Coming up in run support, made a big-time tackle. Might want to try and check into a pass next time. Yeah, got him for a loss. Really, really great play defensively. the feet in bounds. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch. Especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds. Toe tapping and of course foot dragging. A little tapestry if you will. Oh, I like it. On third down, it's Prescott. And incomplete on the deep ball. 
Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. now as they get ready to take over here. This is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. a yard on the first down carry so it's second and nine well he got what he could there just trying to move forward and, and gain a little bit of yardage and create some space you know the pressure is going to be tough defensively on second down here's Barkley and he's going to be taken down shy of the five yard line only a gain of a couple there. That leaves them needing about seven here on third down. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Now a handoff to Sestor. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. How about the fellas with the stars on the side of their helmets rising up on defense? We always hear about the Cowboys rushing offense. Their rush defense is pretty good as well, I think, because they're so cohesive. Defensive line linebackers really work well together. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he's on to punt for New York. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Now Austin. Look at the spin. Balance. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. A first down throw for Prescott. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Looking and finding Allen Hearns. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. One quarter in the books here on a Thursday night. Nothing, nothing, our score. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Watch 
Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And this one brought in by Gathers. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A gain of six there on first. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Tenth carry now for Elliott. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. That's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through. And that's a nice job to hold them just a couple and force a third down. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and two. Now Prescott. He hits Beasley right side. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. And his kick is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you get to the red zone, and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there, and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Latimer on the return. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement down on the scoreboard. Maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 24. A handoff to Barkley, and he'll get this one up to the 26. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now Manning throwing on second down. His throw incomplete. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there and gets the good defensive position, able to affect the play. The Giants on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 8. Working from the gun. Man. And this is going to be incomplete. 
Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and then just continued there with that incompletion. And definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. Here's Riley Dixon now. He's been terrific so far. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And the good news, his team's winning. The bad news, he hasn't had the game that he's hoped to, at least to this point here in the second quarter. And a lot of that is pride because these types of backs want to be in the center of all the action and leading their team to victory. They'll take the win right now, hoping to jump his game up as this one moves on. And he probably wants a little bit more of the spotlight going forward. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. On the counter, Elliott. He takes this for three to the 29. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. The Cowboys on third down, two for five to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on here to punt it away. <laughs> A big kick that time, 52 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Manning now to throw. To Shepard, complete over the middle. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Manning. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he?
They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Manning to throw on second down. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. To throw, it's Manning. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And yeah, he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A gain of six there on first. Nice play call. A little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. First carry for the Clemson man, Wayne Goldman, fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped Ball early. Start. Offense. That's going to set him back five yards. Still third down. Well, that's a tough, costly penalty because now it makes it third and six after the false start. From the gun, it's Manning. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Give him three on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. I think the training and practice broke down on that play because he simply didn't run the route deep enough to get to the first down marker, despite what was a really nice catch and toe tap on the sideline. Yeah, that's third down 101. You gotta go to the marker, know where it is. And this kick is not gonna be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. Single, single. Prescott looks to throw on first. A dump off to Elliott. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or 
two miss, but that window closed quickly. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Here's Elliott. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? Holding offense. So some holding over on the left Still side of that line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. They'll run it now out of the gun. They had a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Mario Edwards Jr., son of former Cowboy Mario Edwards Sr., there on the stop. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Throwing, Prescott, wide open receiver complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. up second down anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field makes it very hard to slot one in look like i4 at rush hour in your hometown of orlando florida an absolute mess an incomplete pass on first down that leads to a second and ten out of the gun here's prescott and his pass incomplete Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. The Cowboys on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and ten. They'll throw again. Prescott. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And a gain there of 11 yards. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime need to give the, Need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Everyone's got four, four down. Here we go. 
On first and ten, Prescott. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there. Need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Prescott yet again. And this one caught by Beasley. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. The Cowboys on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and eight. And again, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. Yeah, it really turned it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will make it six to nothing. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Latimer on the return. And he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. And now out come the Giants. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10. Shotgun now for Manning. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, partner, of all the great things that we saw in week one, unfortunately, there was some bad. Quite a few injuries. And the toughest one, Delaney Walker, with that knee injury, he's gone for the year. Yeah, and that's really, really difficult for the Tennessee Titans to absorb because in a lot of ways, he's their number one target. He may play tight end, but he was the security blanket for Marcus Mariota. He'll be gone for the year. Greg Olson with the Carolina Panthers, he left the game in a walking boot. But an injury of the same foot that was surgically repaired last year. And then there's some other injuries like Leonard Fournette with Jacksonville, Marquise Goodwin with San Francisco, Deshaun Jackson with Tampa Bay, Doug Baldwin with Seattle, and don't forget Keanu Neal with the Atlanta Falcons. He got hurt, came back, left again. He's gone for the season as well with an ACL. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaughan alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. Let's 
Throwing on first down is Manning. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. Manning will try again on second down. Over the middle, complete. That's Shepard. And a stoppage here. A timeout before this third down play takes place. As they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. The Giants on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and five. Again, it's Manning. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. So now on comes the field goal unit and wow this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. 6-0 is our count at the break. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you gotta expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Second half begins with a run from Barkley. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. 
I have to think a major focus of the halftime meetings had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. They stay on the ground. This time it's Stewart. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. The Giants on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third and nine. Hey, 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 hey. From the gun, Manning. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Malik Collins. He's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing. The O-line coach will. Here's Riley Dixon now. As he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, yeah. we've got, we got, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a Rush coming and he's taken down. Dalvin Tomlinson in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Elliott. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. It'll be a gain of about five, but they're left with a third and still about 12 to go. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The Cowboys on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third down and 12. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way, so he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it, just move on to the next play. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. <laughs> 51 yards on the punt there. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. Now here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. 
They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 18. They'll try and get this run game going. This is Barkley. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Manning to throw on second down. Over the middle to back him. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And that's one of his advantages of a passer is now with his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play, but what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything, and sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. The Giants on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This will be third and five. Operating from the gun. Manning. And incomplete. The contact made the ball run free and brings up fourth down. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Here's Riley Dixon now. As he'll come on and kick for a sixth time tonight. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look at him turn. 49-yard punt, five on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. So at the start of this game, it looked like the defense was wearing him down a little bit. Now you look at the numbers, that's kind of flip. Yeah, I agree with you totally. And his offensive line has really started to play well. And the best offensive line coaches that I've ever talked to, when they have great runners, you know what they tell their guys? Relax, you don't have to be perfect. Get as many guys as you can, but if you leave one free, the great runner will either make him miss or go through him. So don't worry about that. Don't, you don't have to be so precise. Just go ahead and block some people. Try and create some room and allow him to go to work. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second down, Prescott. And his throw is incomplete. A pretty good coverage there, and both of these defenses, they've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it, and in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides, where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? The Cowboys on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This will be third and six. Prescott from the gun. And this is going to be incomplete. All right, that one felt incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 
And New York set to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at the 20. From the gun, Manning finding his target. It's Cody Latimer. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Here's a give to Barkley. And some room to run now. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Right back to him on first down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. Second down, here's Manning. It's hauled in by Shepard. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. Now Manning on the bootleg. And he will go down, a Cowboy sack. Sean Lee coming in hard on the blitz. He gets him down for a loss of four. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. So after the sack here, second and 14. Play action, Manning. In a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Sean Lee. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Thought they had something going there to break that goose egg here in the second half, but to no avail. Hope was alive until that interception. What a terrific play, taking the ball away after it looked like they were starting a drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on, too. No doubt about it. They're excited about where they are in this game. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with a game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 34. Hey, 
They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They just get the playoff. Now Prescott. And that's Elliott complete. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. A first down throw for Prescott. It's caught on the right side, Williams. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Throw left side complete. It's Elliott. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll give him a yard on the play. And that is going to set up a third and one. Brandon, more and more offenses are going to the philosophy of using every inch of the field to try and spread things out. And when you're running back and catch the ball as well, that can only help your offense. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Elliott. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. with Austin. <laughs> and he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down, here's Smith. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Holding offense. So he was holding from that Still left handed down. position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Hey. Hey, 
Again to Elliott. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. On third down, it's Prescott. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good. But when you can couple that with contact on him that leads to an incompletion, as we just saw there, that's winning football. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this won't get there. Won't be on line either. It's no good. Off to the right. And this score will stay right where it is. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and ten. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Giants with possession of the football, but needing points as we start quarter number four. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. From the gun, it's Manning. Caught left side, it's Beckham. Touchdown, Giants! Odell Beckham, 49 yards. And the Giants are an extra point away from leading this game. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. A very important extra point there. Up and good. And they take the lead here at 7-6. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Rosas now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And I hate to point to that missed field goal from their last drive, but you look at the scoreboard, they would be in the lead if they had that three. But no doubt those points or those missed points do loom large. But here they're getting a chance for a makeup, aren't they? Almost like my time in school, I was always begging my teachers for a makeup exam. Here's their opportunity now to put those points on the board. And every point becoming more vital here in the second half. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Prescott. Got him in over the middle. It's Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Prescott now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And he's got room. And avoids the contact by sliding. Nice work to get seven out of that. And it's second down. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. A 20 of carry here for Elliott. And he'll take it down shy to 45 at the 46. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw him through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 46. Here's Prescott. Drops it underneath, Elliott. And he's brought down. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. and brings up second down. Now, he's been a busy man out of the backfield. They've looked his way quite a bit so far in this game. Nice job there defensively, though, adjusting, because a couple of his earlier catches, he was wide open. Not that time. You mentioned the key word, adjustment. A better cover man on him now in space. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Prescott now. And this one brought in by Gathers. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. down carry for Smith and able to push his way forward here for a good little game he'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run and it's second and four and there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps you don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon right. 
Oh, design run for their wide out. He will push his way down to about the 14. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. They'll run with Elliott, and this play goes nowhere, losing yardage back to the 15. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. And this one is right through. And they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Eli Manning and company getting set here as they head back onto the field. And after the slow start, the numbers show he has really straightened things out. How often sometimes is that that you come into a game and the defense is game-planned a little differently than you expected? More often than maybe people realize, so adjustments are often a big part of each and every game, and it's not just getting to halftime. It's series to series to make it work. And being able to hang in there when there's a little adversity early and see him able to flip it around, it's kind of gratifying for a team to watch, especially for a coach. Space to maneuver at the 40. Wide open receiver complete. Holding offense. So a decent game, Still first or not on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Now a play fake here on first down. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Well, any caused incompletion is good for a defense, but when you add to it, you get a little hit on the quarterback, knock him to the ground, make him think a little bit, hopefully knock him off his game, especially in a game of this magnitude, this tight in the fourth quarter. Got to feel pretty good as a defense. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Shotgun now for Manning. Looking for his receiver, sharp, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Sean Lee. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. And that interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. get set to take the field and they're not going to play this conservative I don't think they had the field goal last time and they're up but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone oh I agree with you totally no one is, goes out on the field and says all right let's just settle for three except in certain situations trying to ice a game that sort of deal 
Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. A first down carry by Elliott. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on the big offensive line. On second down, Elliott. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? You <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. On third down, Elliott. All able to avoid him. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload, but you and I both know. Well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now Elliott. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. He'll get it up the middle. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means it might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. This defense has not surrendered a touchdown yet. You better believe they're determined not to here on third and goal. To throw his press gun. And to him a sack sack back at the nine yard line kareem martin in there to get him for his second sack of the night no doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs how about the way they were able to contain him that also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here from the right hash. And this one just a chippy. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will push the lead up to 12-7. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. Uh, and a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. 
And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Eli Manning getting ready to go again on offense. And the interception that ended their previous drive, that might be one we look back on and say that was the turning point of this game. Hey, partner, guess what? There's still time for a few more turning points in this ball game. They're only one score down. Yeah, true. I mean, we could have some twists and turns. Stay tuned. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And incomplete. An excellent play downfield. Should have been picked off, really. But second down instead. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to, you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle <laughs> yourselves. I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. Three. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again. Manning. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Shepard. And he's going to be out of bounds at the 39. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. False start, offense. The crowd's not doing that O line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to Still get the first snap down. count. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Working from the gun, Manning. He dumps it off to Barkley. Give him seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now you get to the check down. A nice, safe throw and a good one. Here's Manning to throw. The Notre Dame man, Jalen Smith, able to get a hand in and knock it away. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Again, it's Manning. Now he's going to go deep down the left. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to be marked down deep in Dallas territory. Holding offense. Now that's one they hate. Still the ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. False start. 
offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Still third down. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Manning to throw once more. And now the ball comes out. Manning lost it. A plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Here's Riley Dixon now. Standing right on his own five-yard line. That's pulled in at the 32. Oh, shifty! Whoa! Almost got kicked his coverage there. 48-yard punt, but 10 on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. He is knocking on the door for 100 yards in this ball game. And it's so important. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Just short of it, a little bit over. A little bit over feels better to everyone. Offensive line, running back, team totals. Just something magical about breaking that barrier. And he's right there on the doorstep now. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10. Now Prescott. Complete. He was trying to get it to Ezekiel Elliott, and it's second down. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll be a third and about 13. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Again, it's Elliott. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to kick it away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. Eli Manning and company get 
getting set here as they head back onto the field. Yeah, here we go, partner. It's his time to shine. And I've yet to meet a quarterback who had any type of greatness, any type of longevity in the league that didn't secretly love this type of an opportunity. To be the focal point, have the chance to take a team all the way downfield and win the game, that's when they get their stripes. Yeah, that's when they get their stripes, and he has to take them the length here. Back to throw. They'll set up the screen to Baldwin. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Holding offense. Well, your QB's been sacked four Still times first in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. He's back to throw. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Saquon Barkley. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. As they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. The Giants on third down. A pretty anemic, a very anemic one for nine thus far. This time it's third and three. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a Giant jumped early. False start, offense. So that one will be accepted. Still third down. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. Now after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. He'll look to throw. And Ingram holds it in. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That one good for 15 and a first. Back to throw. Open man right side is Ingram. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Well, that wasn't exactly a work of art, was it? No, that wasn't a thing of beauty. This is why I don't play in points per reception fantasy league. Is that, is that what they call it? Receiver PBR? still gets a point there. Yeah. Oh. And you went that far back. No bueno. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I wish I had their defense on, uh, on my fantasy game. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. They'll look to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. 
guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job for knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. Back to throw. Manning. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Demarcus Lawrence in there to take him down. And the clock will roll. Now Manning. Got to have this one. And that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. Pass interference. Defense. Well, sometimes when you try to defend OBJ, you're going to get a P.I. call. You might get a P.I. call at just about any point during his route. And I think a lot of teams have taken the, the whole philosophy of, hey, just go ahead and do what you have to do and hope eventually they'll quit calling it. But not in this case. They drop the flag for the pass interference. for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake a field goal does the opposition no good everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion and that helps you immeasurably but the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game don't even let that become an issue yeah but still a one possession game this one not fully over yet they've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take a knee. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. One final kneel down here as it comes inside the 40-second mark, and that should be enough to put this one on ice. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair, low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.